हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू लर्न टू स्पीक भोजपुरी लेसन नंबर फोर दिस इज डॉक्टर अरुंधति होसकेरी हियर एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट आई एम सो सो वेरी हैप्पी एंड ग्रेटफुल टू ईच वन ऑफ यू हु हैव गिवन मी सच पॉजिटिव कमेंट्स एंड देन यू हैव बीन आस्किंग फॉर मोर वीडियोस बिकॉज ऑफ द टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट आई एम फुल टाइम वर्किंग सो आई डोंट गेट मच टाइम टू स्पेयर सो आई कुडन पोस्ट इट अर्लियर सॉरी अबाउट दैट i'll try to you know utilize whatever time i get for posting because this is your encouragement that keeps me going i love learning new languages and i love sharing them with you also so thank you once again actually i have i have posted so many videos uh, on my channel but uh, this is the most popular one learning bhojpuri i think more people are interested so thank you so much again so let's let's go let's begin Now let us learn some sentences based on tenses. We have three tenses: that is, past tense, present tense, and future tense. So, whenever we want to learn any sentence or in any language, learn to pick up certain verbs and play it around. It's very simple, rather. So, I have taken a very simple sentence: that is, Lakhan eats a mango. Now, Lakhan eats a mango. If I want to say it in Hindi, how will I say? लखन आम खा खाता है ओके सो हियर इट इज लखन आम खाला और इट कुड इवन बी इन हिंदी वी वुड से लखन आम खा लिया सो दैट इज लखन आम खाला दिस इज फॉर जस्ट फॉर यू टू रिमेम्बर नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू दिस इज अ प्रेजेंटेंस नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू टेल इट इन पास टेंस लखन एट अ मैंगो सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल लखन ए गो आम खा ले लस Means means already he has eaten, kha liya hai. So that's how it is. So ego means ek. Sometimes they say ek and sometimes they say ego. So it doesn't make much difference. Now let's see the future tense. How do we say? Lakhan will eat a mango. So again, lakhan ego am khai. So khai is a short form. Like how do we say in Hindi khaega? Lakhan ek am khaega. That will become Lakhan will eat a mango in Hindi. In Bhojpuri, what do we say? Lakhan ego am khai. Now Lakhan is eating a mango. So Lakhan ego am khata. Lakhan am khata hai in Hindi. So here it is Lakhan ego am khata. Now let's see the next sentence. Lakhan was eating a mango. This action has taken place. This is a past continuous tense actually. So. लखन वॉज ईटिंग अ मैंगो लखन एको आम खात रहल और यू कुड इवन से लखन एगो आम खात रही सो ही वॉज ईटिंग अ मैंगो दिस इज हाउ द सेंटेंस पैटर्न गोज लेट सी यू मोर सेंटेंस नाउ आई हैव पिक्ड अप अ वर्ब राइट सो राइट मीन्स एक्चुअली लिखना ओके So how do I say now? Ram writes a letter. So we say Ram ek chitti likta. So again in Hindi, Ram ek chitti likta hai. So here we say Ram ek chitti likta. So this also can be Ram ego chitti likta. Now Ram wrote a letter. This is past tense. Jo ho chuka hai. Already done. So how do we say this? राम एगो चिट्ठी लिख दे ऑलरेडी लिख लिया है तो और एक राम ने एक चिट्ठी लिख लिया है सो दिस बिकम्स राम एगो चिट्ठी लिख दे नाउ द फ्यूचर टेंस इज राम विल ई विल राइट अ लेटर नाउ राम विल राइट अ लेटर मीन्स दिस एक्शन इज स्टिल टू हैपन सो हाउ डू वी से दैट राम एगो चिट्ठी लिखी सो इन हिंदी हाउ डू वी से राम एक चिट्ठी लिखेगा will write so here what we are saying ram ego chitthi likhi so there is a contraction here now ram is writing a letter this action is going on so ram ego chitthi likhta so ram ego chitthi likhta now ram was writing a letter this is again past tense but continuous past continuous tense this action has already happened so ram ego chitthi likhat rahiye 
So again, like last time, how we saw, saw the same kind of pattern of sentence. So Ram ek chitti likhat rahiye. So then Ram will be writing a letter. How do we say this? Ram ke ego chitti likhe kaba. So Ram has to write a letter in another sense, or it can also be saying that Ram will be writing a letter. Now just look at this table. Some simple verbs I have given. So to sit means vital. To sleep is sutal. To send is bhejal. To tease is rigaval. To cook is Pakaval. Now, what you have to do is you got the patterns of sentences. If you really are interested in learning the languages, you'll have to pick up the verbs and start forming different sentences. Now, in the same pattern, syntax, whatever I have given, so use this baital, sutal, bhejal, rigaval, pakaval. So you will be mastering those tenses and sentences. Finally, if you have enjoyed learning to speak Bhojpuri with me, send your feedback as usual and wait for my next video in this series. Subscribe to my channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload a new video. And you may read my blogs on various topics. This is the link http uh, oceanofknowledgeweb.wordpress.com. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for, so much for all your love and you know, encouragement. Thank you. God bless.